since 2020. Huawei is facing a lot of difficulties because it was barred to do business with American companies. These sanctions were put on the basis of false national security threat allegation by the Trump government to destroy the Chinese tech giant. But, before I continue the video please consider subscribing to the channel and turn on the notifications by clicking the bell icon. This restriction much affects the Huawei business from buying smartphone components to production. It results in a delay in shipping new models. Currently, the company has a shortage of chipsets but reserved a limited number for the upcoming flagship lineup. During the interview, Wang confirmed that Huawei's mobile phone business will definitely continue to exist and that the supply of high-end chips will eventually be solved, including reserves, which will not be sold out all at once. In addition, Wang Chenglu revealed so much information about Harmony OS. Under his topics, Wang also put a spotlight on the conversation whether Harmony OS is a copy of Android. He also said the not all Android code is developed by Google. Most of the code comes from the open source community. Hongmeng OS will also use the excellent technology and code strength of the community. Moreover, Wang said Huawei will install Harmony OS in 300 million devices this year. Among these, there will be 200 million smartphones. And more than 30 million units include smartwatches, smart screens, tablets, smart speakers as well as third-party products. Last month, Huawei announced that it'll launch Harmony OS for smartphones in April 2020 and Huawei Mate X2 will be the first smartphone to get an upgrade on this platform. Wang also noted that Harmony OS will cover most of the models sold by Huawei with the eligible hardware. Currently, over 90% of the models in the market will upgrade with the Harmony OS system and the official details will come later with an upgrade plan. If the old users upgrade to Harmony OS system, and the experience is very good and the user will like it, said Wang. Aside from this, Wang has not revealed any list of devices that will receive this upgrade but more information will come on the launch event of Hongmeng OS in April. Previously, it was reported that Huawei P50 may reveal at the end of March in the global markets. However, recently, a well-known tipster from Weibo discloses that the official Huawei P50 series release date in China will be scheduled for April 17. So, what do you think about that? Please tell me your opinions in the comments down below. And like always see you in my next video.